sunny Sunday. Well, uh, this is a really great corner where residents in the West End tend to hang out. And after one is a good time because that's when people are getting up for, for brunch. Um, and we're trying to get a sense of uh, what's important to people. And there's an online survey and it's only up till Friday. So we thought we'll come out and we'll hand out information and talk to people and engage about the survey in hopes that, that people and the citizenry can set the priorities for Mayor and Council. And what types of questions are you asking in the survey? So it's um, it's pretty straightforward. It, it, it's around livability, it's around design, it's around housing, it's around if we have green space, what do we want to do with it? It's around amenities. So are LGBTQ2S uh, issues important? Should we have more space for youth? It is um, fairly comprehensive and it reflects information uh, that's come before us from WIRA and WEN and the BIA and the city. And our hope is that we um, have an opportunity to engage people in, in just a different way. And there have been some controversies recently. One was the 100-year-old tulip tree. Yeah, on, Har a, on Harwood. Is that an issue that you're dealing with? So one of the things that we're trying to do is, is to get a sense of what's important. And um, so any people that kind of were are affected by different development issues absolutely need to go online and let us know what's important. But this is more around setting priorities and less about like the development application pr process is not, not ours to kind of meddle with. What we can do is make, um, a, we can send a, an advice to mayor and council around the process. Um, and those are some of the things that we're doing. So for instance, uh, the very first thing that we said to the mayor was, if you're going to send out information around development, it needs to go more than two blocks. Right now it only goes to the two blocks radius, and yet the west end is a whole lot bigger than two blocks. And what are the things you're hearing so far from the residents? Well, A, they're really happy to have a voice because we don't have a plan, or we, we do have a plan but it's very old. Um, B, that they want to be engaged in, in, in better and deeper ways, and so that'll be some of our recommendations, is that things like this continue, um, and C, that they're concerned about some of the current rezonings, um, and so we just keep encouraging them to have a voice and um, give us their opinion. One of the issues is the STIR projects and yes. community amenities, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering whether you're hearing from people what types of amenities they would like in the neighborhood adjacent to these higher density developments. Right. So it, it's been interesting and that's one of the big questions for us is if we get amenity space in the community, what is important? So right now we're seeing everything from LGBTQ2S, we're seeing things like more, more space for seniors, we're seeing things about arts. Um, so it's a real mix and right now you know, we've got another week, and the last week of the survey tends to be the big push. So come back and talk to me in a week, and we'll know. Okay, my final question. Yep. As a resident of the West End, yes. and as you look at the density that's unfolding, mm -hmm. how concerned are you that the West End Community Centre and the Joe Fordays Branch Library are just going to become um, overcrowded? Well, I, I think they already are a little smaller than they could be. Um, and we definitely need to think about amenity space as we get denser. Um, and, and our hope is is that you know the library is something that people access a lot. In fact, that's one of the places we have our paper copies. So as, as we move forward, those will be priorities if that's what the community has said.